TV8. This is a breaking news alert. Breaking news tonight, out of Kentwood, crews continue to fight a fire at a senior living community. We're told the fire broke out this afternoon at American House Kentwood on Eastern Avenue near 60th Street. News Ace Megan Bunchman has been on the scene for the last couple of hours and she's live right now with the latest information. Megan. Brian and Sue, good evening. Now, things have calmed down dramatically in the past 30 minutes or so. You can no longer see visible flames through the roof behind me, but you can see the bones of that structure now in charred pieces as this community, the senior living community, is definitely a total loss. Crews remain on scene. Everyone from Kentwood to Gaines Township Fire Department to DTE and Consumer Energy. We've got the Sheriff County here as well as City of Kentwood Police because although we do no longer see visible flames that white smoke is showing that there are still very much hot spots in this building and it is active now when we arrived on scene we saw the building fully engulfed in flames the roof line as basically black smoke funneled across the air you can see it on your screen right now at several times throughout the past two hours there were additional flare-ups that happened as crews continued to fight the flames from the sky and from the ground now we were told by a fire official that everyone inside of this facility was able to make it out all right no one was injured and one individual who lives directly across the street from this facility at 60th and Eastern actually was the one to call 911 to alert them not only of the white smoke at that time but of hearing those smoke and fire alarms he also ran over to help those individuals in this structure get out safely I am told again everyone is out everyone is at a secondary building on site that was not impacted by the fire and they are all basically playing games right now one individual she just showed me a picture of her mom and her sister who are now on scene here and they are just playing rummy cup as they continue to wait for them to be let go from that holding area again I want to repeat no one was injured in this incident which is good news we do not know the cause of the fire at this time we are expecting to hear from one of the battalion chiefs shortly this is an Alzheimer's and a dementia specific facility. So all of those individuals have unique capabilities and unique abilities that need to be treated. All of them though, again, escorted out safely before crews arrived on scene. We will continue to bring you live updates as we learn them both on air and online. For now though, I'm Megan Bunchman live in Kentwood. I'm gonna send it back to you guys.